I'm about to show you how you can remove a blemish from a person's skin so that you can go from this to this using only Premiere Pro. So I've brought the clip into my timeline here and what I want to do is I actually want to cut it into two separate clips because in the first clip it obviously shows uh, the mark being there and then when I click my fingers the mark disappears. So I'm going to have two separate clips so I'll leave the first one. This is the point here where I click my fingers. So I'll only remove the mark or blemish after that point. So I'm on the first frame of this second clip which is where we want to start. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look in the effects tab down here and we're going to find an effect called Gaussian Blur. I think that's how you pronounce it anyway. We're going to take this and drag that onto our clip. Now over on the left here in the effect controls we can see the effects come up. We're going to click on create a lips mask and what that's going to do is create this mask and then we're going to put this over the spot where we want to remove it. So I'm just going to do this fairly roughly for now. Now as you can probably see there's a dotted line in this mask. That's just the feather area. You can adjust that on the left here with the mask feather. So that will just make the feather area uh, larger or smaller depending on what you need. But again for now we're just going to keep this fairly simple. So that is pretty much all we're going to do to keep that like that. Next thing is we're going to come down over to the left here and get the blurriness section and we're going to turn that up and as you can see the mark is disappearing as we do that. So I think when we get that up to around about 30 that looks pretty good. The mark looks like it's completely gone. But what's happened now is that is uh, it's removed the mark on the first frame of this clip. So we want it to remove it on the whole of the clip. So what we're going to do is click this here track selected mask forward. Now what that's going to do is it's going to automatically track that blemish on my face and it's going to move the selected area with it. You can also track things backwards if it's easier for you. And usually this works pretty good. If it hasn't you can actually go back and you can adjust some of the frames manually. But as you can see there it's followed it pretty well and I don't think there's any adjustments we need to do. So if we remove that mask now and we play it back you can see the mark is there and as soon as I click my fingers the mark's gone. This is a brand new channel so help out and hit subscribe. I'll be doing a lot more Premiere Pro tutorials as well as that I'll be doing a lot of vlogging content and video production content in general. Thank you for watching, give it a thumbs up and I will catch you on the next one.